Hi beauties. Okay, today. What is today? We're gonna talk about what uh, some of the options are for the January Ipsies. And that would be our Ipsy standard bag and our Ipsy plus, because of course we know that the ultimate is going to be going away in 2021. Instead they're introducing Glam Bag X, which I believe we will get in February, I think. Yes. Maybe, I don't know. I wanted to do just a check, just a peek at what we're expecting for the next year. Um, I know obviously they are continuing to make changes. They're continuing to evolve, especially now that they have merged with BoxyCharm. A lot of things I think we're gonna start to see happening. And honestly, from looking at what the products are that they are uh, have released already, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty decent month, at least for plus in my opinion. Could be wrong, but um, I did try and find Boxy Charms. I always struggle to find it. If it's out there, I'm just bad at finding it. Um, but I do, I normally look at, this is my subscription addict. Uh, it's a blog and they are very good about getting it up quickly. And then I've actually got um, Ipsy's page pulled up for the little bag. Cause I don't know why I can never find it. The, the plus on there for some reason, the spoilers for that. But I'm gonna start with the little bag. We're gonna start with the standard and we are going to, uh, to jump right on in. So let's see what January entails for us. So the first thing we have is the Kinship Naked Papaya Gentle Enzyme Face Cleanser. It looks like a very small sample of a cleanser. I don't know anything about the brand or whether it works or not. I do actually like getting cleansers um, just because like when I'm traveling, I like having little ones. Personally, it wouldn't be something that would really thrill me to get though. It's just more like a, I can make it work. Some of them I really like to get, but this really does seem like a very tiny sample of it. So I don't know, but not bad, not bad. The next thing actually, I think I actually have this exact Color, but I love this lipstick. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Patina. It is a very neutral kind of like pink shade. I have their like cherry red one. And then I have this one, I believe as well. And if not, it's a very similar shade to it. But I really like the formula for it. It's just a nice all day wearable. It dries down really matte. It's very, very workable. As far as reds go, I don't normally gravitate towards them, but it is one of my favorite ones to go with. It's not what I'm wearing today. This is totally different, but very similar shade though. Um, but I do like that formula and it's a decent sample size. I mean, it is definitely like, you're gonna get multiple uses out of it for a while. So I, I think that's a great product. Because I have a similar shade, I'm kind of hoping I don't get it, but that doesn't mean that I would like hate it if I, if I did, but it's a good product. All right, now we have the Youth to the People Kombucha plus 11% AHA Exfoliating uh, Power Toner. I'm interested by this one. I would be really excited to get this one if I'm being honest, because I really have been so focused on skincare in 2020. I like things that have AHA in it. Um, in fact, the first I used the Ordinary products, I, a couple of the, the serums that I got have AHA in it. And so I'm very um, interested. I'm very fascinated to see uh, like what this is. I don't know the brand once again, um, but, and I don't know much about kombucha or, or kombucha. God, I sound really kombucha. Kombucha, kombucha. Anyway, I don't know a lot about it other than it's like basically like just a health drink to give you like antioxidants. So it's a, it's a cool concept. I would, I would try that. I would, I would very, I would very much like to try that. Uh, next we have the Woma, I think I'm saying that right or I'm saying it horribly wrong. Uh, Drama Bomb Extreme Volume Mascara. I'm not really a big fan of getting mascaras, just plain and simple. They're fine, I will use them. I always use mascaras, but I just don't really care about getting them because I have so many. That being said, I have recently purchased some Uoma. I, I really hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, then somebody please correct me. But I purchased some uh, products from their brand in an Ulta haul that should be showing up like hopefully in the next day or two. So I'm actually uh, excited to try the brand, but I'm, that's just a product I'm kind of like whatever about. Uh, then we have the Item Beauty Air Hug Concealer. I love getting concealers. I don't know, I do, well, I've used Item Beauty, but I don't know their concealers or their face products, but I would be, I love getting concealers. So that would be a huge thing for me. I'd be like, hell yeah. Uh, we also have the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. Once again, cause I've been more into skincare, it's probably not a bad product to get. I just feel like I always get masks. So I'm not really excited about it, but I do like Origins a lot as a, as a brand. So it wouldn't be a bad option. Truth be told, I probably will receive it because I literally, if there's a mask, I normally get it. So it, I probably will get it, but it doesn't, it doesn't excite me. It doesn't make me go, ooh. Next we have the Gold Fadden MD Bright Eyes Dark Circle Radiance Concentrate. 
I have gotten gold Baden products, I believe from BoxyCharm and I really like the brand. So I would definitely be excited to get this. I am always looking for, I got really bad bags, like really bad eye, under eye bags. It's the genetic thing. My mom had it when she was younger. I'm pretty good about concealing it normally, but they definitely are there. It's like this just like kind of purpley toned. It's not, it's not, it's not horrible, but it's not good. So I think that would be a good product for me personally. And I would be very excited to try that. So that's another one that I would be, um, I'd be very excited if I received. Uh, the Elizabeth Mott Ultra Moisturizing Hand Lotion. Do not get me started on lotions. You guys know I do not like to receive them. I don't use lotions. I have drawers filled with lotions that I don't use. If I got that, I would be, it would be a waste of a product on me, just honestly. Doesn't mean it's a bad product. For somebody, they may absolutely love that. But for me, that would be, yeah. Then we have the, I, I wanna say Slim Mist. I always wanna say that. I, it may be SL Mist, I don't know. Glam, flat foundation brush. Love it, I love it. I don't use foundation brushes, so it's kinda like one of those things I'm like, eh, but I might, cause I really love their brushes. I, if I have the option to choose them, I normally do. I think the design of the handles is cute. Some of my favorite eyeshadow brushes, some of my favorite face brushes come from Slim Mist, but I really like the brand. And so that would be one, I, you know, honestly, if I always look at it and I say, what would I choose? If that's, you know, these are our choices to choose, which normally they are. What would I choose? It would probably be between the concealer, the uh, brush and the toner. I like the Gold Fadden eye cream, but I'm very interested to try it. Honestly, if it, if it boiled down to it, I probably would go between the concealer and the toner because I, I'm fascinated by the toner and the concealer is something that I think I would, I would normally gravitate towards, so. All right, so that's the little glam bag. Oh, let me really quickly, let me do show you guys though, this is what the bag looks like. Interesting, it's the it's like a dream theme. They kind of look like, it looks like it's that like plasticky texture, like a waterproof type texture almost. I could be wrong about that. Uh, it very much gives me like gym bag vibes. And I think maybe that's what they're going for because you know, everybody goes like rejuvenated to like get into shape for 2021. Let me tell you after 2020, I don't feel like I owe anybody anything. I'm just happy I survived. So you know what, I, no, I'm not going to the gym ever. Anyway, moving over to, the plus the, this is the bag for the plus once again i'm still getting gym vibes like it looks like a workout it looks like something that my little brother would bring to him with in, to football practice like and keep like his his like gatorade his green gatorade water bottle that you like could fill up with ice and like squeeze yeah that's the vibe i get it doesn't mean it's what they were thinking that's just what i associate with it i am very excited about pretty much all the products that are listed here for the plus um i looked at it this morning and i was like wow i i like what's going on here so the first thing we have is the Farsali unicorn essence i like face oils a lot and Farsali is one of those brands that really has kind of revolutionize what face oil is to the beauty community they really were one of the they were the first like idea i had of like oh you can like do this as a base under your primer that was you know watching farah do her makeup and seeing her use her product that was one of the first times i had seen face was years ago and so i'm i'm excited about that i, I really think that's a great product i was like oh that's cool igk the mistress hydrating hair balm i have this from a boxy charm i don't normally care that much about pro hair products this is one of the best hair products i've ever received from a subscription box service. So absolutely, if they gave me this, I would absolutely be thrilled with it. It is great. The one that I have from BoxyCharm is about half full. So it's something I'm gonna have to replace soon anyway. So yeah, I, I think that's a great product. The Ofra Cosmetics Everglow Highlighter, beautiful. I have most of their highlighters. Like when they release new ones, I normally pick them up. I don't have this one. It is gorgeous. Uh, the Wander Beauty Lip Retreat Oil. Ah. This is one that is a, is a waste on me. I would not appreciate it. I've got tons of lip oils. I don't care about them that much to begin with. I do like Wander Beauty as a brand, but I just am kind of like, whatever. That's not something that if I wound, if I got the choice to choose it, I'm not probably, I'm gonna probably choose something else unless the category is just absolutely horrible. But yeah, but I mean, I mean, it's not a bad product and it's not a bad brand, but it's just, yeah. We also have a Cover FX Shimmer Veil. Um, so this is like a weightless cream highlighter. They say it's crease proof, it's transfer proof. 
I'm not a cream highlighter fan. That being said, I think it could make a really cool like liquid eyeshadow or something like that. And I love Coverlor FX. So I still wouldn't be disappointed to get this product. It's just, I probably wouldn't use it in the way that it's like marketed, if that makes sense. Uh, then we have the Florence by Mills uh, Mind Glowing Peel Off Mask. Now there was like a whole bunch of stuff that kind of came out when, you know, Millie Bobby Brown came out with her, uh, her, her skincare makeup line. I haven't tried it. I can't say anything about it. I don't know how the, the brand is or anything like that. I just am not a big mask fan. We talk about, I always get masks. And so I just like, yeah, I have so many of them. And I, I, of all the skincare I've been doing, I don't do them as often. I normally am doing like sheet masks and things like that peel off masks, things like that are just things that kind of, I, I'll do it like once a month maybe. So that's just something once again, that's kind of wasted on me. I would try it. I just wouldn't be super thrilled to get it. We also have a Pixie by Petra Nuance Quartet in Sugar Blossom. And these are like basically versatile, just pigments. You can use them as like a face powder. You can use them like a blush or a highlighter or an eyeshadow or whatever. Uh, I like Pixie. I normally gravitate towards palettes. This is not one that really is. I'm, I have things in my collection that I think are very similar to this. So if I, I don't think I would choose this. If they chose it for me, I'd kind of be like, all right, fine. But I don't, it doesn't speak to me. Doesn't mean it's a bad product. Just means it's, it's not one of the ones I'm most excited about. Then we have the High Beauty High IQ Cannabis Eye Gel. Yes, I would love to get this. Yes, I'm actually really hoping I get this. We've talked about it. I really like eye creams. I need eye cream and I have been so pleasantly surprised with how cannabis based products have worked for my skin. Cannabis oils, cannabis eyeshadow based palettes. I just really like it. I feel like it really helps my skin. I feel like it's very um, nutritional and all of that. And I think an eye cream that is cannabis based is gonna be a wonderful product for me. So I actually really am hoping that I got this. Uh, the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream, love it. One of my favorite moisturizers, great product. And it's a pretty pricey one too. I, I think this product's like a 50 or $60 product. So that's a really good one as well. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. I've never used this one. The bristles look pretty. Um, it looks like one that I probably would like if I got it. Once again, you guys know I just, uh, mascaras are kind of very indifferent for me. I always feel like they're kind of like a bump product. Like it's just like an extra, it's like a free gift type thing. Cause I just have so many of them. I have them because I get them in free gifts and I get them in subscription boxes. I cannot tell you the last time I bought a mascara. So for me to get a mascara, I'm just kind of like, I don't really need it. Um, there's other things that I would like to add to my collection above that. Like I would absolutely take like the eye cream or something over that. So, uh, and that's it. Overall, I think we have a lot of high potentials. I think that there's a lot, a big range of people who are more skincare oriented, uh, people who are more um, makeup oriented. I think we've got a nice little mix going on there. And uh, yeah, I, I'm personally for plus at least very hopeful that we're gonna see a really excellent box for the beginning of the year. The glam bag, the standard glam bag, I still think it's gonna be strong. Wrong. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely interested to see how the, the year just kicks off with Ipsy. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, we're always doing stuff about Ipsy, BoxyCharm, other subscription boxes, and uh, other beauty related stuff. I do tutorials and all these other, you know, sometimes I just talk and sometimes I just do random things. So if you like us, then subscribe. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day, and you stay girly with the dark twist.